so slow burn this week. Uh, it's not happening. It's well, it is happening, but it, it's something different. It's 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 going to be a that Rob guy conversation. It's going to be recorded differently. Uh, we don't got microphones. We got just the H four N here this week, and we got my buddy Jeff Powell. Jeff, I've known Jeff. He's one of my oldest, closest friends. Uh, we bonded. It became things over one simple thing. Wrestling. <laughs> I was at BJ's working in the tire department, and he was pushing a broom around. He had a DX shirt on one day and said, suck it, and cross shot me. And I was like, you know what? I can be friends with this guy. Uh, Jeff, Jeff is the kind of guy, you ever need to hide a body? Jeff's your guy. <laughs> Jeff's down for whatever, whenever. Uh, he's everyone's friend, but I'm glad to call him my best friend, Jeff. How's it going, brother? Not bad. How you been, man? It's been a long time. It's I've cool. been great. You're great. Um, like I said, we share a common bond in wrestling. Yes. Uh, what got you into wrestling? Um, probably Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Snuka. You know the old school when I was a kid. I mean, I started watching it when I was five, six, maybe. Parents would take me every month. One Downtown parent. in Baltimore? Yeah, yeah, definitely. My mom would take me at the beginning of the month, my dad would take me at the end of the month, and both of them hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and still do. <laughs> and still do. <laughs> yes, definitely still do. Yes. Um, so your first memories were Hulk Hogan? Hulk and Hogan, Jimmy Snuka, um, Hulk Hogan. How long did it take you to realize it was fake? Um, Is it something your dad told you the whole time? No, I actually realized it probably four or five years later when I was sitting on the floor and I could actually see them doing the moves and not hitting them at all. <laughs> I had a teacher in school tell me, uh, like when Yokozuna would like sit on people, like just look, look at it in slow motion, like videotape it. Yes, there's like an inch, there's like inches between yes. them. I'm yes. like, nah. And then I actually looked one day. I was like, wow. That's why. That's He's why. Right. <laughs> That's why when I go to wrestling matches now, I never sit on the floor because I want to actually watch it and make it not look fake. Except at WrestleMania, because we're going to be on the floor. Except for WrestleMania, yeah. That's we'll be different. On the floor. That's different. Um, so, what are some of your favorite matches all the time? I, or, or stuff that people should check out? Probably my favorite all-time match was probably Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair. Retirement oh, match. Retirement match. Yes, I was not expecting that. Yes, that was I probably. Was... What's your second thing? Because I think that's what you'll say. Second is what I was thinking. Um, you're not going to say it. I already know now. Steamboat and probably Jake. Damn. Okay. What about the um? Maybe I should have phrased this differently. The I Montreal said... screw job. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a scaffold match. Back when we were kids? You were a kid. Well, you're... Old man. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I, they, those were the matches back when I was a kid that I was scared because I seen... <laughs> because they Expre were really scary. Midnight Express literally fall onto the concrete floor of the Baltimore Civic Center. Not the Baltimore Arena. Not the Royal <laughs> Farms Arena. <laughs> The Civic, Civic Center. Center. <laughs> really, really old hard concrete. Yes. <laughs> and I actually thought he had died because he hit pretty damn hard. <laughs> um, any other matches? I mean, you said a few, but... Um, the Probably the one that shocked me was Undertaker streak being broken. I didn't expect that to happen. You didn't expect Brock Lesnar to beat the streak? Yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't. I didn't want that to happen. Did you cry? No. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wasn't even watching it. You want to know exactly where I was at watching it? An ex-girlfriend and I were at Walmart, and I was sitting in one of the chairs watching it on the network <laughs> while she was shopping. That sounds like a wonderful time. <laughs> uh, God's honest truth. <laughs> what are your thoughts on hardcore wrestling? You and I used to watch a lot of it back in the day. Um, I really can't watch it that much anymore. I can't either. It's just, <laughs> it's not like it used to be. Not like um, the Terry Funks and back in Japan, stuff like that. Loved it. It was hardcore. Now it's just kind of like, 
Yeah. Make them bleed. <laughs> Make them bleed. That's it. Yeah. Pro- I, I will probably have to say probably one of the memorable matches that I can remember recent times has been, who was it? Vampiro and... Pentagon Jr. Pentagon Jr., yes. Yep. Most amazing match I've ever seen. And you're the one that got me hooked into Lucha yeah, Underground. Yeah, from the first season of Lucha Underground, yep. the final. Yep. Yeah, where that the master... Match, that match was absolutely amazing. Yep, that was probably... Yeah, that's where I would go with a go-to hardcore match for uh, present time. For present time, yes. Um, yes. Do you think there's a place for it now? Or... Do we need to get away from it? I think there's a place and a time for it, but it'll never happen in WWE. Well, yeah, but... I mean, you still think there's, like, the niche market for it out there that people want to see it, that people need to see I it? I think there's hardcore wrestling fans out there that want to see it. I don't think it'll happen. Did you, um... Remember David Arquette when he wrestled uh, Nick Gage and got his, like, artery in his uh, yes. neck I, all messed I didn't up? see it, but I heard about it. Yeah. I don't know about that. that. That's just a little too much for me. I don't know. Well, like you remember Strangle Mania. <laughs> well, come on. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I mean, I love a good exploding ring death match, but <laughs> that's not people cutting their arteries and squirting yeah. blood out everywhere. Yeah, that's true. It's not like a hockey... A ho- I don't know. Hockey blade going to your throat. <sighs> I loved me some hardcore wrestling as a, a younger child not even child but teenager yeah as I've grown older I think more about those poor people's bodies yeah that's true but probably my favorite match of all time present time is the Pentagon and Vampiro Jeff you are a dude that how do I put this you live your best life my friend you've been uh the past few years, you've gone to a lot of wrestling. You saw Elton John's last farewell tour. Uh, you've been to countless rock shows. You've toured Hall of Fames. You've gotten a crap ton of autographs. You've collected... I don't even want to mention how many figures and pops. And You people should see the room I, I am sitting in now. It is a mecca of all things wrestling-related, autograph-related, collectible-related. We need a new wing. Um, I already know where you're going with this one. What's your coolest thing you got? Where's your favorite? Which I got a few sub questions here, but what's your coolest thing you got, collection wise? Um, personal coolest thing. My personal coolest thing. I will give you autograph wise first. All right. I'll tell you this, folks. It's going to be a female autograph. Jeff likes the ladies. He likes the ladies. I do, but I'm going to tell you it's not. Oh, who is it? What is it? I got to say the Undertakers. The Undertaker that's, pop. That's, that's the most. Right that's, there, that's staring, probably, at me, staring at me in the face over that, there. That and the Triple H autograph pops are probably my really? crown, crown jewels of. Not the Shawn Michaels. I've not got, the. I've got multiple Shawn Michaels. He signs oh, everywhere. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> not the Mick Foley. Not the. Uh, Alexa Bliss or the Razor Ramon or the, the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I would have to say those two. All right, all right, fair enough. Because um, the reason why they're extremely hard to get a hold of. That is true. That that's is, that's why. And that oh, Undertaker oh. Purple Ink. It's a good autograph. It's a good one to have in the collection, there, Jeff. Um. What's your favorite live event, wrestling, you've been to? You've been to the past what? Oh, well, not you weren't last year. Well, you were at the uh, last WrestleMania. You weren't the year before. Yeah, I've been to. But this, you've been to like the two years prior. This is my fourth. This is my fourth WrestleMania I've been to. Yeah, you know, who's counting? <laughs> oh my god, I would probably have to say. You talking about present or past or anything of all time? I will probably have to say I will say probably my greatest one probably is the very first WrestleMania with you. <laughs> WrestleMania twenty. Yes, and it's and, like, and it's not because it was with you. It was just oh, something well, that thanks, man. Fuck well, you too. <laughs> well, no, no. It was it was because it was something that you and I had set a goal to do together. 
and that was like our first big thing that we actually did together as a wrestling fan. Oh, it is. I'm being serious, dude. It that is. was fun. Yeah, no, that was great. I mean, we did pay three hundred dollars for an eighty dollars seat, <laughs> <laughs> and I do it again. And I do it again. Exactly. <laughs> um, I would probably have to say the biggest WrestleMania I would ever have to do that I've been to has got to be Dallas and I will honestly say it was probably the scariest I've ever been to and it wasn't scary because I went by myself the place was enormous the arena yes Dallas Cowboy Stadium is absolutely enormous so that's your favorite venue you've been to then I would probably say yes over MSG I'd have to go with MSG just for the history. I would I would go with the, my favorite, but the biggest arena is Dallas Cowboys. I felt like I was there. I was by myself, and I felt like I was lost. <laughs> you felt insignificant. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was just like this little this peon sitting three rows from the top of the stadium <laughs> by myself. All right, all right. Um, I had fun, but it was awkward. Would I do it again by myself? Hell to the yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, what about, like, rock bands or music that you've seen? You've seen some stuff. You've seen country, you've seen boy bands, you've seen Elton John, you've seen <laughs> rock, you've seen punk rock. You're an ICP fan. You have more eclectic taste than I do. You want genre-wise or just my favorite show of all time? I want you. Just give me some of your, some of your favorites so you don't feel pressured into saying something that's... Okay. My, probably my... Probably one of my favorite shows I've ever been to is the first time I ever saw Billy Joel and Elton John together. Oh, you've seen Elton yeah. John more than once. Yeah, I've seen, this was my, my his last tour was my second time. I saw <laughs> I saw him with uh, Billy Joel at RFK Stadium back in like 2009, I think. That was really cool. I told you, folks, this guy is living his best life. <laughs> I was not joking. Um best ICP show I've ever been to it's got, gotta be The Gathering <laughs> I mean you know yeah might as well throw that out there whoop whoop gotta, gotta be The Gathering craziest fucking five days of my life with the two craziest chicks of my friends of my life but it was still fucking awesome <laughs> fair enough <laughs> um uh other than W uh, where are you done huh did you have oh, yeah, to say nah. there Probably my favorite band of all time. I probably have to say a stained. I've seen them like sixteen times. So. It's weird. <laughs> Do you like his country stuff? <laughs> that face says no. I do not like his country stuff. It's okay, but you know, honestly, I love it when he gets pissed off when people start talking during his shows because <laughs> he goes ape shit. Tells yeah, me he shit. looks like a dick. It. And that's just him. <laughs> yeah, all right. But yeah, music wise, I listen to everything. I'll go to somebody says, "Hey, I got a ticket for a show." I don't care what it is. I'll go. I don't care. I have noticed that about you. Over the years. <laughs> you ask Jeff to do something, he's in. If I got the money, I'm in. He's got the money and get off work. He's in. I mean, good lord! Right now, I have. I got four shows to go to in the next like month. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who they are, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all have those. It, it's a collectic of, what the hell? I didn't expect nothing less. Uh, I mean, I can't even remember the last... I think the last show I went to was over a year ago, maybe two years ago. It was like Bad Religion and Against Me, I think. It was either that or Marilyn Manson. and That's been way too long for me. Yeah, I'm definitely not telling you who I'm going to next. Because <laughs> you're going to look at me and go... What? I'm sure it's like some Ed Sheeran or something, but hey, it's cool, bro. Uh, it's cool. I'll get it out of you later. Uh, I'll turn I, the pause button. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, June, I got Ariana Grande. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, July, I have Jennifer Lopez. What? She's in tour again? Yeah. Uh, and then Jul end of July, I have Billy Joel at Cannon Yards. And then... They're doing concerts that came to New York now? Yeah. They're, they're, this is their first one. 
sold out in like 30 seconds. Just you know how fast you know how fast they sold out? I'll tell you exactly how fast they sold out. The app actually crashed and I had to use the 1-800 Ticketmaster phone charge phone number. <laughs> See, West, uh, Jeff knows secrets of getting tickets, too. <laughs> He'll hit you with a pre-sale code four weeks before shit goes on sale. And you're like, what's this? Like, don't worry about it. You'll need that in, like, two yeah, days. Two days. And then, you're like, huh? <laughs> then the night after Billy Joel, I'm going to see Hootie and the Blowfish. Only want to be with your... Wait, they're back? Yeah, they're doing a 10-year reunion. 10-year or 20-year? Yeah. 10. Since they split up. It's been 10 years since they split up. Okay, that, that sounds right. It's been yeah. like 20 years since they've been relevant. Enough about the eclectic music genre of I. That wasn't that horrible. Here we go, Grande. Um, all right. I only did it to piss one person off. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, just throwing heat. Just throwing heat on the podcast. And the sad part about it is uh, she's still going to go with me. <laughs> I only want to be with you. <laughs> so, uh, next question. <laughs> I skipped a few questions so we're going to go back here okay um favorite wrestler growing up and now favorite wrestler growing up is definitely Hulk Hogan I mean I get it but uh. I know person that got me into wrestling Bobby Heenan 100% Respect to the brain. 100%. Um, favorite wrestler right now? I honestly can't tell you. What? Because all my favorites right now are all getting buried by Vince McMahon. Ooh. Like who? My opinion. Uh. Oscar, check. Finn Balor, even though he's a champion, I still think he deserves better than the Intercontinental title. Check. Um, my Drew McIntyre, I think he's getting buried. You like Drew? Yeah, I do. I can't stand him. I I, I don't just, know why. He's I don't know what it is about him. I just like him. I think it's because of the whatever his headbutt move is. He just that thing just. Got nice Smacks head, it and boom, it's over. You don't see a headbutt that much anymore. Uh, it's like a bear um, hug or an abdominal stretch. You don't just see them anymore. Um, probably right now, I would have to say my favorite has always got to be KO. Love that dude. Love that fat bastard. More Solid. Than, I love that dude. Totally. Everybody that I know who is a wrestling fan can't stand him. <laughs> but you know what? Makes me care. like him more. I like him even more. I uh, just love him. So, besides the E, what other wrestling are you into nowadays? Um, I watch a lot of New Japan. I did have the network, but I always forget that I had it. And oh, the New Japan network? Yeah, the yeah. New Japan network. I had it, and then yeah. I totally forgot about it. Um, the Melephant goes back and forth with it. Yeah. I watched quite a bit of Ring of Honor. Went to Ring of Honor a couple of days before I went to leave for WrestleMania. And was it tapings? Huh? Was yeah, it? it was tapings, and there was maybe five hundred people there, if that. Yeah. Down in, down at the UMBC Center or wherever center it yeah, was. Yeah, they at. have like small crowd tapings. Like yeah. the, one, the one that we went to, we had it was a small crowd, but yeah, good. Um, it was fun. We never watched them though when they went on live on yeah, TV. Yeah. I um no, I can't. I haven't watched Progress. I know you watch it all the time. I love you, Progress. You still you still watching that all the time? I still I haven't watched that very much. Super Strong Style should be out right now. Super Strong Style sixteen three days of oh, and Jimmy Havoc's last match in Progress. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten into that much because I just don't see very much of it, so I don't know very much about it. Do you have a network for it or? I'll love you. I'll love you. You give it a download, a download. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Um, off air. <laughs> off air. Yeah, you know. Because you know, no password for everybody else. And pay for your progress. It's good. It's worth it. It's only like seven bucks. Uh, That's all it is. Yeah. 
pen. It's a seven or eight book. Uh, it's cheaper than Netflix, and I had more fun. <laughs> Alright, so back to the collecting. Okay. Just a few more little notes on the collecting. Okay. Uh, what got you into collecting? I used to do it, and then I just stopped. And then we both started around the same time and again. We, you know when it, you know when it, you know when it. I will honestly tell you when it started back up is when I got divorced. Yeah. It gave me something to keep myself occupied. Besides, you know, working, kept myself occupied, and it just got way out of hand, <laughs> as you can see right now. Yeah, hey, yeah. When you fill the void, you need to be careful what we're filling the and, void and, with. And that's what it, and that's what it did. It gave me pleasure to go around hunting for stuff when I was able to find it, and now it's just gotten way out of hand. What do you think you got the best deal on? The figure wise, anything wise. Um, a lot of people are going to hate this because a lot of people hate that but probably the best deal I got was probably the Ronda Rousey lithograph I have that's autographed <laughs> you suck I know um, the, and the only reason why I got it is because her autograph her 100% true authentic autograph goes for anywhere between like 150 to $200 and they had it on the website for 50 bucks so that was a economic value and yeah. you took it yeah you okay? What'd you spend the most money on? You don't have to say how much. <laughs> oh my god! Tyson. Tyson. Did you have Mike Tyson? Yeah, I got that. On, I got that at Great Moments in Westminster. For the plug. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So not that. <laughs> um, I would probably have to say the most expensive thing I probably bought was the Undertaker pop. Fair I, enough. My I almost pulled the trigger because I couldn't find the Pete Dunn Elite. I almost pulled the trigger, and that was if I wouldn't have pulled if I would have pulled the trigger on that, that would have been a hundred for a twenty dollar figure. A little bit crazy. But when you're a collector, you gotta have it. You gotta have I it. I got it. I need Jeez. it. It's like Pookie. The shit just keeps calling me and calling me, man. For real. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. All right. So uh, now that we know Jeff a little bit more, we can get into our uh, our weekly uh, slow burning here, if you shall. Um, it's kind of weird doing this without the other guys, but <laughs> we'll make it through. Trust me. You been playing any games this week, Jeff? What you been doing this week, bro? Uh, <laughs> How's work? <laughs> <laughs> work as work. Millions of books get shipped out a day. I'm tired of looking at them. <laughs> I just want to come home. Uh, video game-wise, Jeff just hooked his PS4 up that he's had since November. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he ain't got no... Uh, you can't hook him up on the network yet, on the on the you know PlayStation network yet, but you know baby steps. It's plugged in. It's it, HDMI's at least, in. At least it's plugged in. <laughs> it's, it's input number three in case y'all need it. <laughs> um, Xbox wise, honestly, I just started picking it back up. For the past probably six to seven months, has been nothing but a WWE network user. Hulu complaining about the WWE network not working right on the Xbox. Oh okay. yeah, oh yeah. Um, but I did play some baseball since baseball season's back in. I've been playing a little bit of baseball. Um, I played some Red Dead for a couple of days. Two? The the new one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's a new I one. I still haven't played it yet. Um, my opinion, awesome game, great graphics. Hard as hell to play with one hand. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, Jeff has a slight disability that I wouldn't call a disability. Yeah. Kind of hard to play these wireless games. Yeah, but you know what? I can play it with one hand. It's just <laughs> it takes it takes some time. Getting used to. It takes some getting used to. Yeah, yeah. Um, been playing that. Now that I got the PS4 hooked up. I'll start playing some of them. Maybe have a network by the end of the week. Maybe by the end of the weekend. 
<laughs> Maybe by tomorrow. Maybe by tomorrow. Even more. You never know. Never You'll know. know when you get the invite. <laughs> hey, I'm finally here. Where are y'all at? Oh, I'm on my Switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are on your Switch now. Okay, let me go get one of those. Um, but I will only purchase PlayStation 4 conclusive games for the PlayStation only. Will not buy any other games. This is on record now, you know, right? Yeah, I, I've already decided that. Like, like people are going to be able to go back and say, you said on this that you wasn't going to do that, but you did it. Oh, trust me, I will not. I've already decided. I'm only... You saw all the games I got for it. They're all PlayStation exclusives. And then it's been like since November, so okay, maybe you're right. Exactly. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you forcing me to buy other PlayStation <laughs> games when you know I'm an Xbox fan. I've been playing Tetris 99 on the Switch. Ooh. I do like that, though. It is pretty sweet. Yeah, see? Somebody else is getting Switch fever. See, um, um, Mel got it. He got his Switch, and he's a cool with it now. Um, and he passed it on to you. I just hope I just hope it goes down in price a little bit. <laughs> They're coming out with a cheaper one. I hope so. And I'm also still playing the old uh, Pokemon Go. Everybody in... Redneck Carroll County still plays that. So. Yeah, I, I walked out or I drove down Main Street, but I was a passenger, quote unquote. Wow, that was a lot of pokey stops. Yeah, uh, when it was when that was actually very popular. Like I don't know if it still is because I don't know anybody that plays it anymore. But we had a girl almost get hit in Westminster because she wasn't paying attention crossing the street. Not surprised. Yeah. I've caught like four or five Pokemon. I don't know. I didn't have in Westminster. <laughs> like, wow. You're like, where the hell did that come from? I'll take you back home to Florida. The Charizard, Charizard. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty game wise. Yeah, I haven't been playing much, but uh, now that the baseball season's in, I'm starting to get the the baseball itch. The baseball the itch. Season's so long. Though. I know, but once I, but once I get, once I get the itch to start playing the baseball that means I'm going to start playing other games yeah true that what is your opinion about hold on let me think of it the new Playstation game just came out gone in 60 seconds no tomorrow gone till November no you know exactly what I'm talking about I'm a Switch guy oh my god Ask me another question and I'll, <laughs> I'll... Um, I'm curious. Gone. 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 Is it a shooting game? No. It just came out like... My finger is not on the PS4 Pulse, bro. I have stepped away from all that to, to, to pursue my uh, working endeavors. New release of PlayStation 4 games. Oh, look. We got a fact checker over here that actually Video fact checks. games frequently mentioned on the web. In Days gone. Oh yeah. Um, I haven't heard too much about it. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard very good so far. That like got me hooked. So I think that it will be. One I have played definitely purchase. Some of the new Mortal Kombat. You know, I'm a real big Mortal Kombat fan, and I'm not that impressed. Not that impressed. I didn't think so either. Don't play it on Switch, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you been watching anything lately? Like, which, 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 you watch on the week? Weekly. What you watching on the week, Jeff? Um, what should these people be looking at? What should they be peeping? The show that I absolutely freaking have obsessed over. Total Divas. Oh, my I'm ass. Sorry. I thought you were Steve. No, <laughs> my Ms. and Mrs. Freaking love it. He laughed at me when I said Total Divas. And then he hits me with Ms. and Mrs. Just let the record show. Dude, you gotta admit, that shit is funny as hell. I've only seen like maybe five minutes where I was too lazy to turn off the uh, the station after Dude, Smackdown. You need, you need to watch it. I'm being dead serious. <sighs> it's funny as hell. I can't watch TV. I got like Katie that. involved in it, dude. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> yeah, I love that show. Um... My ass downloaded HBO Now and paid for it for a month so I can watch Game of Thrones. Ugh. I'll watch that. What? Never could get into it. Jeff, Never. you like 
naked women and violence. I know that, but who doesn't like naked women and violence? And dragons, Jeff. But There's I can't get dragons, into Game of Thrones. Dragons and zombies, bro. Sorry. Can't do it, dude. Just All like, right. I'm not going to bring up another show that freaking eight billion people watch every week. What? What a Sunday. What else? The Walking Sunday? Dead. Oh, that's still around? Yeah, I can't get into that. My dad. I People think my dad beg me to watch that. that. I watch one episode and I'm sitting there going. I watched Walking Dead up until like. What am I watching? Two or three seasons ago. Yeah, like, I just can't get into it. Hi, hi. I'm a old school. I'm a old school TV watcher. I can watch. You mean you watch commercials? Is that what that means? No, I watch like old school, like Cheers and. Old school Batman from the sixties and the Jeff's A-team. just over here showing his age. The A team. <laughs> but dude, I was like none of the TV shows, like some of the comedy shows nowadays, got me pretty, got me kind of hooked. But it's just like I like the old school stuff. Yeah, the older stuff always is yeah. better. Like new shows, like comedy shows, like now I like. The Goldbergs, like Modern Family, you know, stuff like that. I watch more YouTube than anything. Like, just stupid five minute YouTube videos. You sound like my father. What? <laughs> my father watched YouTube 24 7. That's because he's learning. Yeah, that is true <laughs> with my dad. Never mind, you know my dad. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's learning <laughs> stuff. He's like, yeah, I'm going to learn how to do this. I'm going to charge gonna, somebody a million dollars three thousand yeah. three thousand dollars for a suction box and send <laughs> it overseas. <laughs> Hey, you know it, what? It pays for the palatial estate. <laughs> Dag, all right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get some wrestling news. Done it out the way. Oh lord. Why two J? He's had a busy week. He had a big yard sale down in Tampa. Did you hear about that? No, but I saw his uh video that he was bashing uh Cody Rhodes about. Mm -hmm. That was pretty impressive. I like that. And challenge Okada for the championship at New Japan Dominion June 9th. I think they're giving him the belt. That would be pretty sweet. And I think they're giving him the belt so that they can have more U.S. sales of tickets over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Because Jericho, to me, is... He's the goat. I oh, think. Yeah. He. I think he's the greatest of all time. And, and oh, shout out to him again for that yard sale because all the proceeds went to um, children's diabetes. That's right. It did. That was one. Which yeah, that was one thing I was so very impressed. I. I remember seeing a small tweet about it, and then yeah, I, he had literally everything in his house was like, hey, for, full sale. I got all new shit. Take all my old stuff, and sweet. we're just going to give all the money to children's diabetes. Right that is now. awesome. I totally get props for that. Yeah, I like Chris Jericho. He's a guy that does his own thing. Yeah, I really he respect don't give that. A, and he don't give a crap what anybody says. Right. If he doesn't like it, he's going to let you know about it. Yeah. Just like Cody Rhodes. <laughs> right. Uh, Triple H announced that NXT TakeOver, the 25th NXT TakeOver, will be June 1st at Webster Bank Arena, wherever the hell that is. Um, you want my, You want my opinion about what it's going to be like or where the place is what do you want to know about it what do you want me <laughs> to know, tell you about where is Webster Bank Arena is it? I don't really care alright because you're not going to be there I'm not going to be there alright because it's probably in some bum fuck Egypt place that I'll have to fly to that is correct <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you it's going to be a phenomenal pay per view. I don't even know who's going to be on the card. I don't care who's going to be on the card. Been to numerous NXT pay per views, WrestleManias, and the pay per views for NXT have blown out yeah. every WrestleMania. Takeovers deliver 110. percent Prime example. Even the even the even the ones that you don't think are good are still usually better than whatever they're putting on the next night. You got it. <laughs> and you know why? Triple H is in charge of it. Yeah, because old man Not must that. die. <laughs> old man must die. Old man must die. Hashtag old man must die. 
Uh, Jimmy Havoc says goodbye to Progress Wrestling at Super Strong Style 16 last week in a bloody, disgusting mess, and that I cannot wait to watch this match. I heard that he left, but I didn't see it either. Yeah, well, it won't be out until probably Sunday or Monday. Dude, you have the hookup. You got the, you got the, you got the cheat websites. Why didn't you no, watch it? No, no, no. It's not, they don't show it live. Oh, they don't show it live? Oh, they okay. record all, they pre-record okay. all their stuff. Okay. They're not that level yet. Oh, they're not that level yet. No. And if they got to that level, it wouldn't be $7 a month. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nine ninety nine. Well, <laughs> that's about to change, too, though. Yeah, I know. They're about to go tiered. Progress might end up on there. Who knows? It's like a farm league from now anyway. You know what? I don't care. I'm still going to rock the nine. <laughs> 99. <laughs> yeah. Dude, um, even if it goes, even if that, even if they go to fourteen ninety nine, and they, dude, pay-per-views on cable right. are $60. Right. And who the hell? They don't set that price. The cable provider sets yeah. that price. Who the hell is going to pay $60 when they can watch it for Whatever they're gonna say, because right. they were talking. I was reading about um, the double or nothing. Yeah, they are. It's probably gonna be about forty or fifty dollars here in the states. Uh uh-huh. But in uh, Europe, I think it is. It's gonna be like twenty bucks, and that's because it's like an eye pay per view and not actual pay per view. Yeah, which is shitty. I would definitely pay twenty bucks. I have qualms paying forty. So yeah. we're gonna get together and watch it. <laughs> or I'm a bootlegger. I haven't decided yet. Here's a, here's I'll a, probably be like it. Here's a way that you can watch it. I've n- happened to notice a lot of. A lot of Ring of Honor pay-per-views. And stuff like that has been been streaming Facebook Live. Jeff with Pro Tips. Did not know that. I'll have to check that out next The time. last Ring of Honor pay-per-view where Nick Aldis wrestled... Scroll. Scroll the NWA thing. The, yeah, the NWA Crocker Cup. Yeah, was Facebook Live the whole program. Wow, somebody gonna get sued. <laughs> Not gonna be me, cause it uh, wasn't me. Jeff, interesting tidbit for you. Alexa Bliss is single now. Not you, Alexa. Turn off. <laughs> Your wiretap turned on. It was like making googly eyes at me. It was turning purple and blue again. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. The government's to listening in. Yeah, just because I said Alexa Bliss. See, it didn't do anything that time, but if I say Alexa Bliss, it does it. Stop listening. Good thing. <laughs> that stuff's weird, man. I don't know how you guys have those. Uh, Yeah, her and Buddy Murphy. Call it off. They've been together forever. Forever, yes. Now are they completely broken up? I heard that I saw that they they broke up their engagement, their their wedding. Well, I know when I broke or, up my wedding engagement, it was fucking like over. Okay. So well, some people you know they postponed the wedding. I didn't I didn't know if it was completely over. Oh, that's an option. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that's an option. I thought hey, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married. Really but, me neither. I don't want to get married. But hey, I'll stay with you forever, baby. <laughs> And lastly, in wrestling news this week, AEW should be announcing a TV deal this week with Turner. Oh, and no. this may be the game changer wrestling needs. Or it could be the death of WCW all over again. Really? So you're not on the AEW bandwagon. Oh, I, no. Really? <laughs> Dude, seriously? You're gonna go there, <laughs> dude. I'm totally down for that. Okay, okay. I'm totally down. If I have my qualms and thoughts about it, yeah, I, I, I hope it survives. I hope it, I, the more and more I hear about it, the better it sounds. But when it first started coming around, I was very optimistic. Yeah. Um. My opinion about it is, I want change. Maybe if. They do something different that WWE doesn't do. Maybe WWE and Vince will wake up and say, "Hey, Vince ain't waking up. He's brilliant. Did you see Raw? Yes, I know. <laughs> but it's still, I. They show blood. Maybe Vince will show some blood. 
That ain't happening. They need to go back. They got investors. They need to go back. It's not going to happen. I know. A man can wish. Yeah. A boy's got dreams. <laughs> it's good to dream. It's good to dream. Uh, Raw happened, and I really didn't get much to say about it this week because it's boring as hell. I, I don't even want to um, talk about it. I don't care. Wild card? That's so dumb. It they makes split. no sense. Yeah. The Firefly Funhouse is the only cool thing I thought. I don't care what anybody says. The man is a genius. Well, that's not just him, though. I know, but I'm just saying. I, I just, that has a lot of Bruce Pritchard on it, if the you stuff ask me. That, yeah, the stuff that he comes up with, I don't care. And the way I'm seeing it now is, like, the like the puppets, they're all parts of his personality. Mm-hmm. And I think he's going to destroy all of them, and then he'll finally snap to whatever is going to happen. Because this is all just building up to something. Oh, yeah. yeah you can't that. wrestle as this character. Oh, no way. A Mr. Rogers lookalike? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's cool and creepy right now, but what's going to happen? Yeah, I know he's definitely bringing back like his persona because, if you remember, he painted a picture of him, right. Randy Orton, burning down uh, the house. The house. The compound. The, com- the Wyatt compound. Yeah. That's probably the highlight of wrestling now. Yeah. the And that's sad. I mean, it's not sad because it's good, but... yeah. It's not wrestling. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's, it's like, story. The problem I have with WWE right now is, from a diehard wrestling fan's perspective, is... Give it to him, Jeff. I'm tired of seeing the same people wrestling the same people. Oh, you mean we're going to switch you brands, but we're going to have other people that you wrestled switch as well, and you're going to wrestle the same tag Same people again. Yeah. I noticed that. Um... I'm tired of the Baron Corbin crap. <laughs> I actually like Corbin. Ugh. I do. I like the shtick. But he just... It, I'm just tired of it. It needs... He needs... <laughs> he just... I mean, it's going to outwear... It's going to outwear its welcome I ra- shortly. I, I'd rather him be the general manager again. <laughs> That's how bad I hate him. Just to, I'm just, nah. just tired of it. And I'm tired of him getting a push and there's nothing there oh yeah he'll never be a champion like the champ yeah I just but cannot stand it who they got heel wise besides like Mac and Tiger now nobody yeah nobody you wouldn't believe yeah they have nobody I mean the roster is just horrible right now yeah and Smackdown sucked equally as well uh it's pretty sad when I'm a diehard WWE fan that I think TNA has got a better roster and a better storyline. It's called Impact, now. man. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? Impact, <laughs> TNA, who cares? And you're only saying that because Jordan Grace is on it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I have a secret love crush with a girl that lives 45 minutes away from my house. Wait, what? Yeah, she lives in York, Pennsylvania, bro. I did not know that. Well, you do now. Because I mentioned that to her when I met her at WrestleCon. <laughs> this just got hella creepier. <laughs> uh, Jeff, any final words for uh, Jordan Grace <laughs> or our listeners? Uh, Jordan Which Grace. Which she probably is not one, but you know. Jordan Grace, oh my God, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, it's kind of awkward talking to a podcast because I've never done this, but it's been fun. Brought up a lot of stuff that I haven't The one thing you didn't bring up. What was my favorite figure? And who was my favorite person I ever met? Well, who is it? I'm interested to know. I'm glad you brought this up. You already know You already know the person. That you met? Yeah, you already know. Yes, Bobby Heenan, 100%. It was, it was sad. It was, it was seeing him that day, that year, it was horrible because... <sighs> you but knew I he had, wasn't going to last. And, there wasn't, and I had to do it. You wanted to do it, but you said you couldn't because you didn't want to see him that way. You want to remember him that way. But I would tell you, it's the best 20 minutes I've ever had with a person in my entire life, celebrity-wise. And I cried like a baby, and I don't care. Fair enough. Um, favorite figure-wise to hunt for and look for, you're going to laugh at me, and I don't give two craps what anybody says. 
Blue tester. Really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mutual friend Brittany, Brit so much on Twitter got me mine. Took me forever to find that. And when I found that, I literally jumped up and down like a two year old because I was so freaking excited that I found that. That was it. like right after we started again. Yep. Huh. It took me forever. But yeah. That was that was probably my favorite find. Nice. That's cool. I like that. All right. Um, plug your social media if you like. Jeff Powell something something J Powell. Uh, I don't even know what my Twitter is. I just. <laughs> I'll put it in the notes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maryland Wrestling Collectors. If you guys want to follow me on Facebook for see everything that this guy comes across and gets. Yes. You'll and, be amazed. And if I find it and you're looking for it, hook me up, call me, text me, Facebook me, I'll find it. <laughs> One way or the other, I will find it. Bloodhound Jeff is on the yes. case. I mean, I go everywhere. So, But since Toys R Us has been shut down, but that's a sore subject with me. It's making a comeback out here. Yeah, in Canada. No, it never got shut down in Canada. Yeah. Or Are they doing... Supposed to be doing pop ups in Mer- in the United no, States. No, we're supposed to have a new thing called Jeffrey's Toy Box. That's right. This coming Christmas, I believe. That's right. And the one at Owings Mills still has not changed over to anything. None of them have that yeah. I've seen, except the one, like the Halloween time. They the, become spirit stores. The one at the one in um, Towson, across the street from Calvert Hall, uh, is now a Ollie's. Does it still have, like, the Toys R Us blue front? No. Oh. And, I mean, the thing is enormous. Wow. It's the biggest alley that I've ever seen. <laughs> Go on. Just crying. Hoping that it's a Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want anything else you got to tell these people, Jeff? Yeah. It's been fun. Good seeing you, man. <laughs> Good seeing you, even, too. Even though I'll see you in, what, a, a month? month. <laughs> but, hey, it's always good. Always a pleasure. Thanks for doing it. Thanks. Thank you for having me. I and appreciate it. We will hit you guys next time on Slowber. Next week. We're coming up on the 100. Oh my God. It's going to be on video. Maybe. If Mel can get his stuff together. <laughs> Mel will. I promise. All right. Later. I know y'all ain't in. I just want to let y'all know something. Man. Y'all know I love you. Y'all know you're my homies. And, uh, Alright, we'll talk later, peace. This has been a TRGPM production.